Hey guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another reading vlog. Ignore my hair. And this time we're going to be reading Six of Crows by Leo Bardugo. I'm going to take his label off. Can I just say, first of all, this book was £3 from the works. £3. For this. How good is that? But yeah, I can't wait to read this book. A bit of a different reading vlog. So far they've all been um, romance, I think. How's that done? I get his label off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of the all the ones I've done have been romance. So this will be interesting. Wait, hold on a second. I was just looking because there's like these black lines down the edges. I was just looking to see what they mean. Oh, it's different parts. I thought each like there's different perspectives. So I thought yeah, like, each section was gonna be a different perspective, but it's just different parts. Ooh. I actually can't wait for this, it's so good. Um, I really like the Six of Crows series, not Six of Crows, Shred and Bone series, but I heard this is so much better, so I can't wait to read it. So, yeah. Also, there's going to be spoilers, so if, you don't, so if you don't want spoilers or you haven't read the book, do not watch this video. So, I've read the first chapter and we've been introduced to Juiced and Anya, who I'm pretty sure... Well, I'm, I'm assuming because he, he was like the name of the chapter, a part of the um, Six of Crows. Um, yeah. So it was basically like he has a massive crush on her, and she's a creature, he is not, or something like that. So he can't like afford to ask her to marry him and stuff like that. But they're performing like the people in charge, like performing experiments on Anya to try and like enhance her magic or something like that. And it seems to have worked a bit. I'm not too sure what's going on. But I'm gonna keep reading, hopefully, find out. The next chapter is an edge, and I definitely know who that is because I did watch the TV show. And I'm trying to figure out is Juice the one in the TV show? You know, the couple who were like running their way together. Is he the boy from that? Sorry, is because I'm pretty sure it is. Because I'm pretty sure the six is them two, Kaz, Inej, Jas Jesper, and one other person, but I don't know who the other person is. I don't really know. Okay, so I read Inej's chapter. Kaz is slightly psychopathic, but we're going to ignore that because I think he becomes like really good because it's not really good, like good, but like he's a really good character. Because I know from like, I tried to get the sticker off on the front, but my nails make it very hard. I know from the TV show and like some TikTok about it and stuff that everyone loves cats. So I'm like, yeah, it is kind of like iconic in this like crappy way at the moment. Because he's just like, he's funny to be honest. I feel like he's just one of them. Where he's like, one of them. went to like an empty villain whenever I don't know what the calls. You know what I mean? I just think he's gonna be a bit funny because he just like he was dead cocky then and like the way he was speaking and stuff. So, yeah. Hey, so I've been reading a bit more instead of bath. I was reading a bit. And I think I've got a grasp of what's going on. So basically what I said before about that is it ju juiced what's his name? Juiced, yeah. Am I saying that right? I don't like him. Anyway. Him and Anya aren't the ones I thought they were. That's Nina and Matthias. I learned that by looking for other chapters. He's the sixth one who I didn't know who the sixth one was. He's the sixth one. So yeah, at least I know that now. Um, and they've just been monk class. has just been given his mission. That's going to be like the base of the book, I think. They want him to go to the ice cart. I don't know where that is. And he needs to get... They wanted to steal boiled bio. Um, and I'm not sure what specific. Basically, I think this is a person who basically knows all the secrets of like the country, and they don't want him to spill them. Basic. I think that's the basis of it. Um. So yeah, but apparently it's like a really dangerous mission. So they got off with quite a bit of money for it. It's like a death wish or something really sad. I'm not quite sure to be honest. I'm trying to follow along as best I can. I obviously understand more as we go on as well. Like I'll figure out what I'm actually doing at the moment. But I read three chapters, so 
It's not much of a surprise. I don't know what's going on. I'm just impatient. Okay, I love Kevin and Ish. I know they get together. I'm pretty sure they get together from what I've heard. And I don't know. They just slightly know each other so well. And I've got like, I wouldn't say banter because it's not really bantery. But it's good. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't even know how to put it into words. But yeah, I like them. Just thought I'd update you, let you know. Just finished chapter four. So Kaz is like recruiting his own team to go on this mission. And he's just gone to visit Nina who is a heart render and he's trying to get her on board but he was saying that how she wishes to go back to um Bravka but she doesn't know she just doesn't know if she's ever gonna get there and all of this her is bugging me. Basically she wants to go back to Ravka because she was like separated from there in the war which is like the Shadow and Bone series. Um but yeah I feel bad for her like Nina so far. She's cute. But yeah, I'm just about to do a chapter, read a chapter, whatever. So we'll see. Nina's chapter is actually so sad. It's like they've gone to get Matthias out of prison and it's just oh the whole thing, right? It's just really sad. I'm guessing the bit where they're in Shadow and Bone is like the backstory because it's how they met and like fell in love a bit in it. And then this is like what's happening now. So eventually, when we get to like the six and crows, the six of crows part of this, so that the story is going on. But that's what I'm assuming is happening. It's just like backstory, the stuff that they're putting in Shadow and Bones to like flesh out the characters more. Is that right? Let me know in the comments. But I finished part one, so moving on to part two, and it's Matthias's chapter, so I'm quite excited. So is Wyland in the six? Is the same Wyland? I don't know. Is he in the six one? Or is that. Um. Is he the one who had the privilege past? I don't know, is he? Or is it just because Wiley's not got a chapter to flick through, but Juice hasn't got another, so I'm assuming it's going to be Wiley because he's the one with him at the moment. But anyway, they broke Matthias out of prison, and it's so sad how he's. You've got Nina and Matthias back, um, chapter back by back, and she's like so in love with him, but he really hates her. But he also loves her, and it's so complicated in his head, like what he's trained to do, and then he loves her, and it's just like, oh. It's sad. So they've got the plan together. And they're about to start like executing it and stuff. I'm just getting ready to go to work. They're about to start like, executing it and stuff. And yeah, I'm almost at the end of part two. Well, I don't have time to finish it. So I'm gonna finish part two when I am from work and maybe read part three. I'm not sure. There's no need for the music, is there? No? Oh, was this phone ringing? Never mind. <laughs> but yeah. I will update you when I get rid of all here. So this is just a cute chapter from Jasper's perspective and I really like Wylan. It's only like just been Wylan, I don't know how to say his name, but you know who I mean. She's like just been introduced and he's really cute, I like him. He's just, yeah. Do something happen between Jasper and Wylan. I might have to look it up because I feel like I've heard about it. So that happening, but I'm not sure if it does. Don't you just love reading a book or watching one of your favourite booktubers? Also, Larry Reads is also reading the number, just updated, uploads another video. So I literally have like 50 minutes there of just, or an hour pretty much, of booktube to watch. And I cannot wait for it. So, um, Nina's chapter was quite informative. She talks about Nikolai and Zoya, which is like Shadow and Bone reference. Cool, Yoko. Don't know why I just said that. And then there was like a flashback to like how she ended up meeting Matthias and how she was captured and stuff. And then there's like a scene between her and Matthias at the end, it was dead cute. It's like, I loved your laugh, Nina, and your fears were your heart. I might have loved you too. And it's just, it's so sad. It's actually really sad. I want them to get back together. No, they weren't actually kind of together. They were sort of like, I don't even know what to say, they were just a bit in between. Love and hate. Oh, finished part two. We're on to part three. Part six. Well, let's get going into it. I'm quite excited. I'm loving this book. It's been so good. How many parts are there? There's five parts. Okay, we're about no six. Four, five. I can't count apparently. Yeah, it is six. <laughs> 
halfway through then. Let's carry on reading. There's a sentence here from Kaz's perspective. He didn't want an edge, he just wanted the routine back. Okay. Do you keep telling yourself that? Yeah, I'm just figuring out the six of crows is literally just gonna be three couples. Me, Inej, and Kaz. Just one. Jesper and Wyman. And Matthias and Nina. Kaz is like matchmaking here. So it's a new career. So they arrived in um, the ice court place, whatever. And they've just seen the pyre where they put in the creature. And Nina and Matthias have got like a massive fight over it. And it's quite sad, like the way they kill them and stuff. It's like, yeah, it is really sad. So, Inej and it's the next day. It's hard to tell. I'm still looking a mess, but I've done my hair ish. I washed it, dried it. Um. Anyway, Inej and Matthias had this conversation about Nina, and it's quite cute. She's like, I'm on to you. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. But she's like, I know you like her. It's just, it's one of those, and you know, it's just cute. Her and Nina are like my best friends, and it's just, yeah, I like the friendship. It's little moments like this in books that just been so much better because you get like the found family aspects of it, and it just is great. Kaz's backstory is so sad, like the whole thing with his brother getting like firepox and stuff, and then like, I think now it's full is 10, but it's just really sad. A little bit of like cheesy flirting from Jesper there towards Violet. I mean, something's definitely happening. But I don't know what, something's happening. I was so confused then. So it's like a flashback to how Inej and Kaz met. And they were introducing themselves to each other. And I'm going, do you actually know each other? Why are you introducing yourselves? It took me so long then to figure out it was a flashback. It's quite embarrassing. Because it's literally been flashbacks throughout the whole book. It's like it's the first one. It's just a bit embarrassing. The backstories of all these characters are so interesting. You really get to see like how they got to where they were and stuff. Like has his backstory why he hates Becca Rollins so much. And it's just so weird. Like when you read it, you're like, oh my god, you make the connection and it just clicks and it's like it's so weird. Never would have thought of something like that. Sorry. I get my hands like on the camera properly. But yeah, it's just it's really informative in a way, but it's also really interesting. That is the end of part four. Moving on to part five. I've only got two parts left. I'm quite excited. I've been loving this book. I think it's gonna be a five star read for sure. Unless the melee goes really badly at the end, it's definitely gonna be a five star. I didn't know Jesper was a Grisha. That is so weird. It's just like a now because there was like these hefters on the wall of like what the Fjordans, I think they are, as collected as like trophies when they've killed them. And he went, I'd have worn purple if I'd have joined the second army. It was, um, what are they called? Let me have a quick look to see how to say this name. He was a material alike. I want to say that. But it was the Order of the Fabricators. I didn't know that. That's weird. I need to go brush my hair. It's looking a bit of a mess. Matthias has betrayed Nina and got captured. Plot twist. Mm. So she's like, he like ratted her out one of the commanding officers and like she thought her plan was working by like trying to seduce him and convince him to tell her all the secrets and stuff. But then he locked her in the cage and then he got, she got this thing of Matthias saying, um, do you really think I've turned against my nation, the country I devoted my life to? And it's just a oh, plot twist. I mean, you know, to be honest, I suspected. No, I didn't suspect, to be honest, I thought he'd have like a whole character change. Like development and he wouldn't like go back to his nation because he realised you were wrong and he fell in love with Nina and all that but never mind didn't think this was gonna happen but then at the end of my back of my mind I think I did you know what I mean good Matthias so he's um basically he realised when he was talking to Brom he was like he was saying that all Grisha are evil but he's like but Nina did so much for me she campaigned to get me out of the prison she did all this and yeah he's done what he needs to and he figured out where the hiding I still don't know his name. You know, the whole book is about finding this guy, and I still don't actually know his name. Yo, Bolsonaro, I don't really know. Um, it's on the back. No, it's not. But yeah, he found out the location of him. I need to get Nina out, and he's just character development at his finest right there. His name is Bo Yul Bayo. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's his name. There we go. Remembered it. Didn't remember it. I just read it, but never mind. 
Okay, so I'm on the last part of the book, part six, and it is called, I've just flicked off it. It is called, if I could open the book, Proper Thieves. So I'm on page 433 and it's like 470 something. So I'm almost done. I think I'll be able to finish it before I go to work, which is good because I really want to finish the book right now. I'm like, I just want to know the ending. So my tires have just been shot. I don't know if it's been killed or not. There's not like an ounce of a... He's going to live or not? I'm so confused. Come on. Please tell me. Oh yeah, he speaks here. He's going to be alive. That's good. Let's take a breath now. That was a bit stressful. Was even the guy who was shot? So confused. Yeah, struck him directly in the chest. Oh wait, never mind. It struck him in the chest. It hit him. Hit the ground. But there was no wound. I'm confused. I missed that. I'm, I'm really confused here. really confused <laughs> just a scene between Inej and Kaz and he asked her to stay in Kerdan with him instead of going back to her family and she was like what would be the point and he said I want you he wants us to stay I want you to I want you and then she said how will you have me fully clothed gloves on your head turned away so our lips can never touch and then she said I will not have you without armour Kaz Brecker I will have you without armour Kaz Brecker I will not have you at all but then he didn't say anything, so she just walked away from him. It's really sad. I love them too as well. So basically, I'm assuming Wylan is dyslexic from like the way they've described his father just described me as like a massive conflict. He's trying to like keep him as island, so he's blown up the ship with Wylan and Nina apparently on it. And they were like, Well, he's just done, why have you done that? And he said, Oh, he's a disgrace. All those letters they were sending him are just mocking him. They're not begging for him to come home, which is really, really bad. But then he's blown up the ship. But then Matthias wasn't bothered, so I'm assuming like they're not on the ship because I think they'd all be a bit more neither was Kaz. I think they'd all be a bit more upset if they actually were on the ship. But Jess but obviously isn't in on this plan. He's like really upset because obviously he's a bit in love with Wylan at this point. But yeah. So they just revealed themselves they're both still alive, yeah. I told you, I knew it. I knew a plot twist. I knew it. So smart me. So Wylan was like disguised as um Kui. He's like the one they wanted really. Um but yeah they revealed him to be him and Jess Jess was like really annoyed. She was like, You were the one who um you said, I don't know, maybe I like a stupid face. And yeah, it's really cute that but then Kaz has just gone, you were the one who sold salt to Pekka Rollins to Jesper. Because Jesper was bragging about getting the money. To end to one of Becca's guards, and that's how he found out. Um, then Kaz just went saying to Jesper, You really haven't learned anything in the drug dregs, have you? You're still the same dumb farm boy who stepped off the boat. And it's like a big dramatic scene because, like, Jesper's been feeling like really left out the whole book and like isolated. So, this is like a big thing for him, really. So now they're going to try and get Inej back because he just said I'm going to get my money and I'm going to get my girl and then he said Inej could never be his, not really but he would find a way to give her the freedom he promised her so long ago. That's sad. But now we've got a chapter from Pekka's point of view which is weird. So he's given, he released Pekka from prison and he's given up, he's asked him for 200,000 in Kruger in return and he said he'll give up his shows in the Crow Club and Fifth Harbour for it. Which is literally just a character development because he's ready to give all this up to save Inej. Which is just really, really good. Really good character development. Okay, so I finished the book. I was 100% a fan, so I really I love this book so much. I can't wait to start the second one, which is be the next reading vlog. So keep an eye out for it after this. But yeah, this book is just, it's been amazing. It is so much better than the Shadow and Bone series just saying a lot better um i know everyone means now when they say it's good i'm trying to when i was watching the tv series i loved the six of crow scenes more than i loved shit and bone series in a way so i knew it was gonna be good 
we have the found family dynamic the like quest the six like misfits it's just it's really really amazing how it was all put together and i feel like the second one is going to be even better so i'm going to get started on that right away but that is the end of the video don't forget to like subscribe comment down below and i will see you all next time